so we have completed our front page and now i am going to create our about page so unfortunately i didn't create the about page service page blog and contact inside the figma design but i will show you how you can create without figma design and also how you can create them very quickly in this part i'm going to create a about page now if i go to our about page so first of all i have to navigate to the dashboard i already opened the dashboard and here you can see all pages now when i click on about and click view page i'm just going to open a new tab here the about page looks like this so if i click on edit page let's add something here let's add some content or i can click over here and go to patterns and here you can see a lot of options or features here i can choose any of them from here let's scroll down and see if any on or uh, any of them i can use from here or not so currently i do not like any of them from here but there is another great features if i type here about here you can see a lot of about uh, complete template related to the about page still i'm not happy with that now I'm going to search here wordpress.org and here you can see patterns. So I'm going to click on patterns and I'm going to search here about us. Hit enter and here you can see a lot of patterns. In most of the patterns, they're using the default Gutenberg editor. Now, if I want to use any of them from here, I can simply copy and paste. It's very simple. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. It's, it's very easy and I really like these features. So let's take a look any of them and let's choose any of them from here. For an example, for this video, I'm going to choose this one. So I can click over here. It will open in a new tab or in the existing window. And here you can view the about page even though if you want you can copy from here you can uh, edit you can change the view and see how it looks on responsive devices and it looks like this now what I'm going to do I'm going to simply copy the pattern copy and go to my page editor and close this one and simply paste here boom so as you can see it's really awesome right you do not have to create every single thing from scratch so what you can do you can simply now change the style to match with your theme so currently if you take a look at our design we are using square shape we are not using any shape uh, that looks like border radius so now i'm going to use the default shape here and the border radius should be zero and also the color should be this one instead using the custom color so there needs little tweak or an adjustment here we can use or we can change later on so before going to change i'm going to click on update here and go to about page or i can view the page from here the about page looks like this so it's something that i'm not really happy with that i would like to change this about page to looks like or match with my current layout so what i'm gonna do i'm going to select here go to group change the content view to 1000 pixel click on update and now if i reload the page it looks similar now so there is still some spacing here that i would like to remove so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to select the spacing or select uh, this area to understand from where the spacing coming from so if i select here you can see currently they are using group here so if i reduce the size you can understand here 
so here is the group and inside the group there is all the elements now if i select group and if i take a look at here at the left side there is 20 pixel padding i would like to remove that padding here so now when i remove the padding it looks like this now let's click on update and reload the page it looks perfect now so i have successfully created my about page now i'm going to add another section called page header or something like that with a background image under the header area uh, you maybe call it page header or hero area so i can simply navigate to the patterns again and then type here page header and see if is there anything else related to the page header or not yes there is a page header and if i click over here there is page header with some other content and other information so we can use them from here or we can choose another one let's type here hero section or hero area now with the hero area i really like this design so i can copy go to my page editor and let's let's take a look at here or i can paste here simply and then i can move it to the top and click on attempt to block recovery so that it recovers the button and also if i do not want to use button i do not want to use button really at this moment so i can remove them let's remove and let's change the typography from here to h2 and then uh, line height should be default and also it should be default as of now and let's take a look at our background image if i click here and i can use any of them from here or any simple background image let's click on update and reload the page and see how it looks so it looks uh, very simple and neat and clean and i really like this design right now so this is what uh we have created for our about page and it looks perfect it's also completely responsive in our next part i'll be creating the service page